Hi, I'm Maddie. Have you ever considered what would happen to life on Earth if a doomsday event killed every human on the planet? Well, by the end of the first post-human year, all human head lice and body lice would go extinct. In fact, all animals that thrive on our existence would struggle. Without centrally heated homes, cockroaches would die in cold weather climates, and without a constant supply of food scraps, rat populations would fall and they'd become lunch for hawks and falcons who would be venturing further into urban areas. Life for our domesticated animals would also change drastically. Dogs and cats would go feral, and in some parts of the world, livestock would quickly be consumed by large carnivores. The great Harvard biologist E.O. Wilson believes that if horses managed to survive without our aid, they would probably devolve over generations, reverting back to look more like their original wild ancestors. The same is true for crops and vegetables. Broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage and Brussels sprouts would all regress to the same unfamiliar predecessor. It may take some time, but New York, London, Paris and every major city would be overcome by the wild. Pipes would freeze and crack in temperate zones. Cement too would become degraded by freeze and thaw action over the coming years. Without maintenance, cracks would soon appear, allowing plants to take root and widen the fractures further. And as lightning rods degraded, skyscrapers would become prone to fires, fueled by stacks of office paper. The waterways that we rely on would also change. Without computer operating systems, London's Thames barrier would never close. And without pumps, New York's subways would flood and silt up. In fact, 300 years after the last human took a breath, our large dams would be full of silt and likely topple over. The Panama Canal would also close up, reuniting the American continents. In the sea, where many marine species are currently in decline, they would make a full recovery without humans. And on land, many animals would spread to regions wider than we've ever documented. The wonderful author and journalist Alan Weissman says that we know that animals will reclaim land quickly thanks to some special case studies. For example, within years of the Chernobyl catastrophe, nature rushed in to fill the void. Now, one of the dirtiest radioactive sites in Europe has become one of its greatest wildlife sanctuaries. Scientists aren't sure how long animals would suffer from the deposits of heavy metals that we would leave behind in petroleum tanks and nuclear power stations. As containers decayed, chemicals would leach out. Over centuries, plants would recycle and dilute them, but the soil underneath could be poisoned for eons. So how long would it be before all traces of human life are gone? The sad truth is never. Our radio and television broadcasts are traveling across space and will continue to do so for the rest of time. Please share this video with your friends and I'll see you soon on Earth Unplugged. The Earth rotates at 1,670 kilometers per hour. If we stopped suddenly, the effects would be catastrophic. We and everything not deeply rooted to the planet would be thrown sideways. A meteoroid is just a small asteroid less than 10 meters across. And if and when it enters the Earth's atmosphere, it burns up, leaving a streak of light. And this is known as a meteor.